Hey guys, um, I'm, I know I've been gone for a long time. I'll make, uh, I'll start making videos again soon. I swear. I just, ugh, so, it's so uh, much work. Um, this intro is just to say that this video that I'm posting right now was extremely requested and still is extremely requested even though I do not have the hair for it anymore. Um, so keep in mind this footage is from over a year ago because I have had it for that long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's go! From the first day that I posted my mohawk on Instagram, I've had so many requests for how to style it and so many compliments. And so I wanted to just hop on and get that video recorded as soon as I possibly could. Um, I don't know when this is actually releasing, depending on how fast I edit it. One eternity later. But I wanted to record a video of how I style my mohawk. Now, you don't have to follow this. It is definitely like not what you have to do. So if you have a, day, a way that works better, perfect. Do that. But for people who want to know how I style mine, stick around. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you gotta wake up. My hair already looks kind of gross, but that's because I slept in some hair product. <laughs> um, even if you're starting off from clean hair, it's gonna be the same deal. Uh, I'm trying to think. So the three things I forgot them. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, so the four things i guess depending on the environment you're going to be in so like how strong you need your mohawk to be um you don't necessarily need to use all of these so like i don't use all of these every day um but depending on where you're going and if you need to have your hair be able to survive through a lot like if you're going to a show you're going to want to use all four but totally up to you figure your own stuff out for sure, test what works for you. Um, the things are shaping cream. So this one's just American Crew. It's not normally what I use, but it's what my husband had. So using it. Um, then this is the most important one. So it's got to be glued, blasting freeze spray, yellow bottle, horn front. This is the most important thing. This is what you're going to need no matter what. So the hairspray is what does most of the work. Um, Got to be glued, ultra glued, invisible styling gel is the other one. Um, mine has a band-aid on it because I accidentally poked a hole through it. So I put a band-aid on it and it's worked, so. My hair gel's metal as fuck. Just kidding, because it uses band-aids. Um, and then a blow dryer. I have this one. Any blow dryer will work as long as it can blow dry things. First step that I do, you know, the fact that I already have shaving cream on my hand, is you need to separate out if you're like me and you have fringe that you want to stay down. I'm trying to throw this in my hair somewhere. <laughs> um, you need to put it in a hotel so that it does not get product all over it because you don't want to straighten your hair if it has product all over it. And also it'll get crunchy and we don't live for that life. So, so you're going to want to grab some shaving cream. Um, I normally use, I think it's the got to be glued kind. Um, it's in a little purple thing. Yeah, it's got to be glued, but I didn't have any. So I'm using my husband's. <laughs> um, take a little bit of it and just rub it around in the tip, the finger parts. Don't go into the palms of your hands cause it gets sticky and super gross. Um, and then literally what you're doing with this is you're going in for your roots to make sure that the majority of your hair is sticky so your hair's gonna look crazy but you just want to go in with the shaping cream and make all of the area of your roots especially the middle of your hair if you have a thick mohawk like me you're gonna want to get that all sticky because this is what's going to help your hair stay up throughout the day now if you're not doing anything super important and you don't need your hair like i mean if you're not doing anything super active and you're not in need for your hair to be fighting the whole world <laughs> You can skip this step for sure. So this is the most important step though. Okay, so once your hair looks crazy, has shaping gel on it. So my hair currently, if you can tell, is sticky and producty, and that's good. So 
You can straighten your hair first if you want to. I don't because I am lazy. But you can. Um, it'll make your mohawk look neater if that's what you're going for. But it's definitely not what I'm going for. So whatever. Um, so pick sections. Depending on how thick your mohawk is, you can start from wherever. When you have a thick mohawk like me, you're going to want to start in the middle. And I'll hold the section up. It doesn't matter if it's neat because we ain't trying to do neat in this house. Um, take your hairspray and spray the sides. And then you're going to use your blow dryer and dry it in place. I do my blow dryer on cool and on low. See that? This hairspray is the hero of Mohawks. Then just keep doing that until your hair is like standing-ish. Okay, so once you have your hair all like standing, then you want to pull up the rest of the sections and hairspray them into each other so you have a pointy mohawk. Now I like to have super messy hair, so I'll go through and like scroof it around a lot so that it kind of looks death hockey, uh, you know. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind with this, and what a lot of people seem to not understand, this stuff's gonna make your hair super crispy, okay? Like, crunchy as hell. You're not gonna be able to comb through it. So, be ready for that. <laughs> okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is your fringe, if you have it. If not, your mohawk's gonna look like this. You got a mohawk. <laughs> Um, again, like obviously as neat as you want it. I don't like my being neat. I also don't like not having fringe because not feeling this. Uh, so um, you would have a straightener. Also, heat protectant is something that you should be using. I don't have any, but I'm gonna have to invest because I haven't used this much heat on my hair in a while. Um, grab a straightener, put it up to whatever temperature you use your straightener at. There's not really a magic number there. Um, and then lay your fringe down and shape it to your liking. But then yay, once you got your fringe down, um, adjust the front of your hair to your liking, whatever. I like to pull mine down so that it points over my fringe a little bit. Um, and then you're good to go.